The presidential initiative to support market vendors and small business operators is a brainchild of President Choi Museven. In 2011, Parliament passed the 10 billion shillings, but a special audit by the Auditor General unearthed fraud at the Ministry of Finance with officials at the ministry reported to have misappropriated the money. It is, it, it is for a fact that the money was diverted and stolen by people, as per the evidence I've shown you. So of course it must have been some form of organized crime. That's why you realize that they would remove the intended beneficiaries, then go for the, put their own people on the list, then they go and pick the money and they share. And their statements, how they would go people from microfinance, would go and pick money from them. They would send the money, so they tell you, <laughs> when they tell that ah, money has come. If they send 120, they say remove 10 and give us the, the balance. A desk officer in Ministry of Finance, Henry Mbaguta, was put on the spot by MPs on the Public Accounts Committee. Hey, who brings in those requests? Yeah. The market vendors, the artisans, who, yeah. who brings those uh, requests to you? No, I, the... Mbaguta, please be yourself. Don't, don't cook stories, just be yourself. So I don't know what numbers did you base, on what ground did you requisition for 10 billion shillings, which the other group disputed, disputed. Uh, from, uh, will, <laughs> Mr. Baguto, will you, re, will you repeat yourself tomorrow? <laughs> not to cook stories is not easy. According to the report by the Auditor General, officials in the ministry created ghost market vendors and the money was not paid to the intended beneficiaries. The desk officer who was handling this issue comes out and still inflated the numbers of the market vendors, the artisans, more than the Ryomoki committee had come up with. This is Katwe Metal Fabricators, Costa Cooperative Saving and Society. Money was sent to the cooperatives. Four people went and actually picked the money. So the intended beneficiaries didn't get the money. Some of the markets earmarked to receive the money were Chisenyi, New Taxi Park, Nachivubo Street, Parkyard Owino, St. Balikudembe, Nakawa, Gulu, Mbale, Ntinda, Wandegea, among others across the country. When he was asked to withdraw the money to the tune of 106 million, which was handed over to the chairman of Ntinda New Market who said he was taking over taking it over to Mr. Sabit Jackson however mm. but uh, what is interesting this money was later requested well, never met. Taken back and taken back finance yes this is Ginger District NRM League receiving the money to facilitate the presidential campaigns the MPs on the Public Accounts Committee of Parliament are vowing to exhaustively investigate the matter.